The bank features a savings account that has an annual percentage rate of 4.7% with interest compounded quarterly. Marie deposits $4,500 into the account. How much money will Marie have in the account in one year? And what is the annual percentage yield or APY for the savings account? Remember the APY is the simple interest rate that would produce the same return at the end of one year as an account that paid compounded interest. And while there are formulas to determine the APY, in this video we will be using the TI-84 TVM solver to determine the account balance after one year as well as the APY. Going to the calculator, we press the apps button, enter, and then enter again to access the TVM solver. And now we have some notes here on the right that indicate what each row represents. Capital N is the total number of compounding periods, which is little n times t, where little n is the number of compounds per year, and t is the time in years. So for the first question, the time is one year, and because we have interest compounded quarterly, little n is four, four times one is four, capital N or big N is four. Enter. The interest rate is 4.7%, and therefore we enter 4.7, we do not enter the percentage as a decimal. PV stands for present value because Marie deposits $4,500 into the account, meaning she paid that much into the account. The present value is negative 4,500. Enter. There are no additional payments into the account, so PMT, which stands for payment, is zero. Enter. We're selling for the future value, so we'll come back to this row. Notice next we have P slash Y and C slash Y, which stands for the number of payment periods per year and the number of compounding periods per year. Because the interest is compounded quarterly and there are four quarters per year, both are four. If we enter four for one, notice how the other changes to four as well. And we leave the setting for PMT on end. Now we go back up to the future value row, which is FV, and press alpha enter. After one year, the account balance will be $4,715.26, running to the nearest cent. Let's go ahead and record this. And now let's determine the annual percentage yield. Remember, this is going to be the simple interest that after one year would give the same return of the given account. So for simple interest for one year, we change capital N to one, and we also change the number of payments per year and number of compounding periods per year to one. So we change P slash Y to one, press enter, and it automatically changes C slash Y to one. And now we go back up to the interest rate, the second row, and press alpha enter, and the APY to the hundredths of a percent is 4.78 percent. Which again means if an account paid 4.78 percent simple interest after one year, the return would be the same as the given account after one year. I hope you found this helpful.